I'm about to do something I don't do very often, and uh, it's gonna go fish a golf course pond. You can see there's a golf course back here, and Larry's brought me over to something. He, he fishes a lot of these ponds on the golf courses, and he's got this one that's um, it's got like a stream running into the pond. I'm not sure. Uh, it says it's got like stair stuff, spillways kind of going in, and um, so he's uh, he's gonna go down here and show me where it's at. I'm gonna try to fish it and try to catch some multi species, but also gonna kind of try and catch some bass. So I got like a bass rod. And then like a lighter action rod. I don't know. I don't even really know what to expect. I mean, I do want to catch some bass, but I'd love to catch whatever we can find out of here. So uh, we're going to go down here and get to it. Man, that's a big pond. Caught anything out of this one up here. Um, but there's supposedly fish like all the way down this little rock path. So I'll just let you go crazy with that because I know this is right down your alley. Oh, there's something here. Here, I'll let you go down there. You want me to go like that somewhere? Yeah. Just see what we get. Oh wow. Yeah. Those are big old bluegill. They're on beds right there. There's a bunch of beds. They're all it's like a whole whole bottom of that is in beds. There they are over there. That's how we saw it. Yep, the bluegill. Ooh, nice ones. Okay. Well, there's the first fish. Got a little swim bait. Nice bluegill. I thought I saw some bigger ones, but these okay. are nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels a good one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Man, these guys are slabs. A little golf course pond fish, you know. No, you're good. No, you're good. Because it's like steps down. And each tier is like a different level. Uh, oh. Different species that you'll get. Gotta okay, check off the levels. Yeah. There's like so many bluegill in here. Yeah, so I'm going to let so. you have this and I'm going to step down to the pond. Oh, yeah. I watched him eat that. <laughs> oh, he threw my lure up. Oh, that's an even bigger one. All right. Yeah. Larry's giving me the bluegill pond. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's no, a... I'm going to let you have the whole stair step. Like, well, oh, okay. So fish your way down. Me. Yeah, just fish your way down. Whenever you get bored here, like feel like you've caught all of them, just go to the next one, get a couple, like you'll see how it all right. steps down. And I'll be down, like I'm gonna stay like kind of to this side. All right. Since the wind should be blowing on this bank. So call me if you need me. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a copper nose. All right, I'll fish this way for a while and okay. Dude, that's a catch something awesome. <laughs> okay. Let me know. Good luck. <laughs> all right, so we're Oh, right. look at that. Good. Is that a copper nose bluegill? Is that is that what that is? But that in, is a little bit bigger than those other ones. All right, that was like, that was pretty quick. Uh, let's let's go ahead and move on down because those are all bluegill. We could catch a bunch of bluegill, it looks like. But I kind of want to just keep exploring uh, to see what else we're going to come across. Well, that's interesting. This fish probably see me, but it didn't look like it messed him up back there. Dude, there's like, there's some really cool landscaping um, waterfalls they have for this golf course. And fish on, oh, no fish off. These fish are like in their own little ponds here. They're like separated from the rest of the the fish oh man oh something hit good i want to know like is there just bluegill is there other stuff in here kind of neat come on gotcha there's something and that is a green sunfish i wonder if they put hybrids in here because there shouldn't be green sunfish in these ponds typically so we got a bluegill and then we got that's a that looks like a pure green sunfish and he's flopping around. Get back in there. Get in there. Get in there. Go, go. Oh, he's back. Oh, fish on. And another green sunfish. 
These are average size. I wonder if there's any big ones in here. And like, there's water coming in. They got this little pool, but they can't get out. I mean, I guess if it floods, it's kind of weird. There's just got its own little, little bitty mini pool, basically. And, oh, had a bite. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a big green sunfish. They are doing well in here. I thought they may be stunted and all small. That is nice. It's so funny, that little pool up there, all bluegill. Right here, all green sunfish. Let's see if I can get a cast over uh, on that side. There's a little spillway, it like diverts over there. Oh, I had a, there was something in there. It's not near as much water as over here. Oh wait, there's another drop right here, okay. We got this drop, and there's a drop over there, little drop, another drop, stair steps down, more drops way down there, it goes, it keeps going. There's a lot of little waterfalls. I imagine there's fish below every one of them is enough water because if, if enough water flow to, just to keep things alive, I guess. This is a little pool. Anything biting in here? Oh, yep, there's one. No way, I side hooked a bass. How is there a little bass in there? Like, how did it get in? Let's throw him up at this other one. How did it get in the system? I mean, maybe did they would they have put bass in this kind of thing? Did somebody like throw a little bitty bass in there or did a bass have babies? Did it grow up in there, get attached to a duck uh, as they do? Cause that little bass, couldn't have, he's not old at all. That's crazy. There's a, I'm getting a couple little bites. I haven't had anything uh, really bite. Like give me a good thump out of there where I caught the little bass. Uh, we got another little spillway over here. And we got a little bit of water in there. Oh, I'm getting little bites. Take it. Got it. Got something little. Little bitty green sunfish. All right. Well, let's move. It's kind of really cool. Just this is like a really cool landscape that somebody that they built this waterfall system. There's a lot of water being pumped up there to have all this water flowing down. And this rock ledge is built. That's very cool. All right, got these stairs, stairs, stairs. Another little pool down there. Oh, yeah, there's something in there. This is a, it's real shallow right here though. Not a lot of water in this one. Yeah, another little drop off. These are these aren't as deep. These little drop offs here. Uh, six inches, six to eight inches deep. And oh wow, there's still fish in there. Looks like quite a few. No, oh, it's a nice golf course. Larry's way over there. Oh, here comes another deep hole. Oh yeah, this is a good one. No, it's maybe not that deep. Looks deeper. Oh, oh, getting hit. Come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on, fish. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a good fish. 
Dude, oh man, I think that's a giant green sunfish. Like a massive one. Whoa, it is. Look at that. That's a big one. He's living good. Living his best life in this concrete or rock little pond here. Ooh, such pretty colors on that fish. That's a good one. Oh, I just snatched it up. <laughs> this hole has the bigger ones. It's funny to see just the difference in these little spots. There's a little one little hole, the next hole. I don't know if these. It's. I wonder what they do, the pond management. If how much like how much effort they put. Obviously, you know they stock this pond at one point or something. But like that hole. The very top hole had all those really nice bluegill. Ever since then, it's been green sunfish. And um, why is there not green sunfish up there? That's just just uh, kind of curious. Oh, is there, I saw something in there. I saw a bass or something bigger. <laughs> uh, one thing about green sunfish when it's when they're lively they are hungry i haven't caught any that look like hybrids yet at least to me anyways i would think there'd be a lot of either bluegrass green sunfish hybrids or something this whole system's kind of got me confused what's going on Let's keep moving down. Oh, here's another big drop. I think there's a bit of water in this one. Yeah, this is a little deeper. We're getting closer to the lake or to the pond, but there's still nothing could come up out of the pond into here. So whatever's in here has come from up up top or I don't know how else he like how else he got here. That's funny. I figured I'd get a bite right away. Down there. Oh I got hit good. And uh, back to the bluegill. And a nice looking, looks like a pure bluegill. Hmm. Oh, got one. Oh, oh yeah. Another nice bluegill. Two, where now, where are all the green sunfish? How come these, there's bluegill right here, but that hole there has got all green sunfish. This place makes no sense to me. Oh. Yeah, that's a bluegill. Is he hooked? Oh, yeah, it's hooked. I kind of I'm getting a lot of bites and not getting hooked. Goodness. That, another nice bluegill. These are like really nice. I, I, I want, are these, is this another copper nose or have all of them been copper nose? Or maybe they're not. Maybe that's just the way they are. I don't, I don't know, but they are very, very, look very healthy. and look like pure bluegill to me. I don't understand how there's like pure bluegill in one hole and like pure green sunfish looking in another hole. With all this water just flowing into each other. And this one looks even deeper than the last one. What are we gonna get out of here? What do you think, green sunfish or bluegill? Maybe a, maybe a bass. Oh, there we go. All right, what are we getting? Feels like some strong bluegill. I don't think this hole has as many. This this seems deeper. I haven't, haven't got as many bites, and I don't. I didn't see a lot of fish swimming around when I walked up on it. 
Uh, that was regular bluegill. Or just uh, looked like a pure bluegill to me. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's why there's less fish in here. <laughs> there's a little nice little bass. He looks fine, so I guess I'll leave him in here. I don't know if I should take him and throw him in the pond. He looks healthy to me, I think. He's not too, if he was real thin, I would take him out and throw him in the pond. But I, I would imagine he's keeping the population of sunfish down. So, there's a first real size bass. And we are getting down to the pond. And uh, here's the last drop. Got a lock lead. I'm gonna fish in here in just a second. Maybe some more sunfish there. But man, that's that's some kind of waterfall design. And I know it's down a hill, which ain't too hard to do for the pond people. But it's a cool design, whoever you know did it and uh you know for a golf course i guess they got money for that kind of stuff i know it's a lot of work let's try a buzz bait in here just in case there's another bass in here The last spillway. Man, this waterfall fishing is uh, all right. There's so many fish in these little drops. Now, underneath the last one, these fish can go anywhere, so they're not trapped. There could be stuff here, there could be nothing here. Oh, there's stuff there, all right. Oh my, oh. That little bass is waiting for something to come down. Probably waiting for one of those little green sunfish to get washed down here. That was a little, uh, this is a 1 16th ounce jig head. That was a little Bobby Garland. I wanna put something a little bit different on. These little moon dog baits. I kinda like these little swim baits. Um, they're not much bigger than a Bobby Garland. Just a little more and a pale tail on them. There we go, let's stay hooked. Oh, these guys are feisty right here. Hey, just a large mouth. Nothing crazy for this pond, but it's kind of cool having they were like sitting at the edge of that spillway just waiting on something to come in. A couple more casts and I'm gonna switch to a, a bass rod and kind of see what else we can get out of here. But this has been a you know what? I don't know. I, I love this kind of fishing. That's what Larry knew. He's like, you're gonna love this little area. I didn't realize there was gonna be that many like spillways. And that was like every little hole was its own little pond. I'm like, alright, well what's in this? Every little pond. There's so many. Oh, oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, they're sitting down at the bottom there. Yup. Hey. <laughs> Don't mind me. I may be caught probably about 20. As many as I wanted <laughs> up there. I caught two bass here. Yeah. I lost two first ones, then I've landed two. And like, I'm sure, I'm sure you're figuring it out, but like up underneath the waterfall. Oh, I haven't even got to that yet. I'm like, I didn't know there was. I was just, I got that one and when I let it drop all the way down. Yeah. And that's what I was about to just keep doing. It's any like bit, mystery, dude. Any like bit, yeah. Any dude, what was crazy is I fished all those holes. Yeah. Some of them had green sunfish, some had bluegill, but none of them had both. Yeah. It was very weird. Like, that's how I was talking about the level. Yeah. It's like, it's like there's different levels. Yeah. Woohoo. Get him out. Get him out of there. Dude, I caught a bass this big or bigger at yeah. the like second one up. Really? It, and then I caught a little bitty bass at like this like way up there. Huh. Like I don't know how the bass get in those. Um, that's my whole thing is I'm just curious how this whole thing works. Yeah. Because some of them, the ones that had bluegill, like had pure bluegill. The one that had green sunfish had like pure green sunfish. And usually they mix. Like if they're in there, they'll mix it and hybridize. Yeah, you would think. But they didn't. They didn't. Don't seem to be doing that. The top might be pure, but as you go down, it might be like kind of a little bit more and more. Yeah, and that's what's crazy. The top was all bluegill. Yeah. I went like three green sunfish, and then I went to like two that were all bluegill. Got 
got one with the bagpipes playing. Got one? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's a pretty bluegill. Look how yellow that one is. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm filming the center bait. Wind's picking up. Oh, yeah. Wind's hitting me in the bag. It's cold now. Yeah. Get this guy in there. Oh, well, I tried to throw you back. No, this, this one's definitely not a copper nose. I wonder if those other ones are. I'm not that too familiar with them. Oh. Uh, nice. Woo hoo! Is that a bluegill? If that's a bluegill, that's a bluegill. Oh, it is. Holy moly. That, oh, that's a, that may be a copper nose. That is a monster. Like legit, ooh, it's peeing. Oh my. Ow! Ow! Bend me. Yeah, I was trying to, trying to get a picture. Dude, okay, maybe I have to stay caught fishing for bluegill because that is huge. Look at that mouth on that thing. Oh man. Let's get a picture of you. Goodness, look how round. Maybe I should do pond fishing more often. I never do any pond fishing, I just, but I know there's big bass in these ponds oh, and there's some monster bluegill, but the bluegill are so fine. Now, there's usually gonna be a lot more of them and you're gonna be able to catch them a lot quicker. Which I'll just, I just like, oh, are we on, are we on? No, he's off. I just like catching stuff, obviously. Let's see, come on, let's get us another one. Oh, oh yeah. Just let them eat it. Kind of let them take their time and eat it. Goodness, goodness. Back to the yellower one. Goodness. Okay. Anybody know why they play bag the uh, bagpipes? Dude, these are like the most colorful, just like big, beautiful bluegill. Every one of these guys like its own colors to them. They're just like, I haven't caught any bluegill this big in years probably. Just barely get my hand around the guy. Goodness, every cast. I, I, may, I may lie, I said I was gonna try to catch bass. Oh my, I can't. Well, I really thought I brought my scale in my little bag, but apparently I didn't. I was wanting to see if I can find one, one of these guys up to like a pound. Cause these are probably getting close. Goodness, that's a little one. That's a little one, and it's huge. <laughs> There's definitely two different styles of bluegill. So, they definitely got to have two, like... And then I guess there's maybe more than two different bluegills. I thought there was only two, but come to think about it, there may be more, because there's... I keep finding out new stuff all the time about different fish species. <laughs> 